What's up guys, Harold here, Figure Mania Show. Hope you guys are well wherever you are in the world. And in today's video, we're taking a look at Haya Toys exquisite basic heat ray Godzilla translucent version. Now, before I go any further, I wanna give a special shout out and thank you to Haya Toys for sending me out this figure for review. And if you guys are on the fence on, or not sure where to pick up uh, your MonsterVerse Haya Toys, guys, look no further than Calkiss Toys toy.com calkistoy.com uh, receives their shipment of Haya Toys figures the same day that they're released in China since they are based in China. Also too guys, they offer free international shipping and if you guys uh, buy your figures there, you can use my promo code figuremania-calkiss uh, to get 6% off your purchase. Now let's get on to, with the review. Now before we go any further guys, I am not going to touch upon the articulation of the figure because um, it's the exact same mold of all the previous figures that you've seen so uh, there's really uh, no point in covering that so what we're going to be uh, looking at here is the uh, is the translucent uh, nature of this figure and the paint applications. So uh, before we look at the figure itself, so let's look at the new spiral ray. So I like what they did with this. They uh, they added just a little bit like a, just like a lighter blue sh uh, shading to the spiral ray. And this is translucent also, like the, it comes in a translucent material. And again, we come, we have the, uh, the neck pieces, you know, so if, if you want to, uh, uh, display Godzilla shooting his uh, his atomic ray uh, upward. Okay, now I will do that uh, for you in a bit. And this also too, like it comes in. Um, this whole figure from head to toe is uh, is molded in a translucent plastic. I mean, you can see it here on the inside as well. Um, I don't know too much about the head. This uh, head itself doesn't look like it is but I could be wrong okay now let's look at the figure itself so I will let you guys uh, just give you guys a close look at him I'm gonna move him a little closer to you I feel like what they did here is that on the body of the figure they uh, they did they gave him the uh, 2021 um, treatment, you know, the, the, the new version of Godzilla 2021. And, you know, they, uh, they didn't do too much here in terms of like the previous release of the heat rate version. Okay. Now this figure is, uh, from head to toe in a translucent, um, Plastic so if you take off the tail you can see that you know that there's you can see like inside it's translucent and all and all that Okay, also here too on his butt. Okay, so from head to toe it is a Translucent figure now the thing with this figure uh, in terms of like um, Translucent I mean really the only thing that you see that's translucent are the dorsal fins itself, you know, so um Unfortunately, no other area on this figure has, uh, you can see those translucent uh, parts to it. You know what I mean? Because like the rest of the figure is, um, you know, is, is heavily painted, uh, you know, uh, with the 2021 20, uh, color scheme. So I'm going to bring out those figures so I can give you guys a comparison. On the left, we have the original heat ray. And on the right, we have the translucent uh, heat ray version. So you can clearly tell that there is a big difference in terms of appearance, uh, in terms of the paint. So here, uh, you know, it's not a translucent figure, but I really like uh, the, the attention to detail that they did uh, for for painting him up. So like you can see like the, the different colors of blues, the dark blues and, and everything. And also here on the chest as well. And even on the eyes, they, they, they added just a touch of uh, uh, just a, a, a touch of white uh, to the center of the eye. And here on this figure, I mean, he doesn't have the same coloration here on the um, on the chest, unfortunately, even on the neck. And, um, you know, they, they shied away from giving him uh, a little, uh, you know, the, uh, a little bit of white in the eyes. So they did a uh, apply white here on the, on the dorsal fins, but no, like, uh, no other shades of... Uh, 
a, a blues or anything like that. I just want to demonstrate with you with my Ulanzi cube light here, the, translu the translucent uh, material of this figure. So I'm going to turn them on and I'm just going to set it all the way up to its maximum. And you can see that, I mean, that looks beautiful. I really, really like this very much. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I can't do that with the original figure because, you know, it's not translucent, you know? So I kind of miss uh, being able to do this in toy photography. So I appreciate this very much. For me, as an artist, I really, really like this very much. Okay, but um, there are a few things that I would like to point out, which, and I want to mention some things that I kind of wish that Haya um, did something a little different a bit different in terms of the paint application with this figure so uh i will get to that in a bit uh let's just bring out other godzillas that you might have in your collection so we can compare them all giving you guys a look at some uh, godzilla figures that you may have in your collection so here we have the two highest so this is the translucent version the regular and this is the NECA 2019 and uh, I really appreciate what NECA did with uh, with their figure. I mean, they had they had like this style, the stylistic take on their on their figure, and it turned out pretty nice, you know. And probably one of my all time favorite figures in my collection is the all too elusive for some people, the twenty nineteen poster version. Now to this day. This figure is still beautiful to look at. I will not let go of this figure. And uh, for those of you guys that were hoping that uh, this figure here uh, would be a perfect substitute to, uh, to this one, um, that's not what you're getting here. So let me uh, take these guys out and I will show you guys, okay? I don't think I need to go over the sculpting details uh, in comparison to the two. Enough's been said and we all know, uh, you know, which one looks, you know, accurate or, or, or best to uh, what we see in the films. But what you cannot deny here is the, um, the paint application on this one is just still to this day, as I mentioned earlier, just beautiful. I like uh, what they did with the, with the metallic blues and the paints and a little bit of the whites and stuff, you know. And uh, unfortunately, like if you want to compare these two, I mean, it comparatively, it is a little bit flat compared to this, the, this figure right here, you know. But I do appreciate uh, Haya trying to do their own version, but when... Um, they announced that they were going to be releasing this translucent figure. I was hoping that this figure would be more along the lines of their stylus uh, blue Godzilla. Because if you if you guys have that figure or seen it, I mean, um, you know, the the way that they applied the paint on that figure, it just makes the every like the translucent nature of that figure pop. And uh, and I was like trying to imagine like what. Uh, an articulated figure would look like and it would look like more like this sh monster arts that i have here but i don't i don't know why they they chose to do that and hopefully in a in a future release if they do plan to come back to this um i would like to see them try to you know mimic that paint that that style that does that the uh that the stylus has so like the 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 paint application from head to toe on the body is just too thick that you just don't see the um the translucent uh material like especially if you have them like facing frontward you just don't see it you only see it like from the side so like if they would have done what they did with um with this guy here so if they can just like ease up on the paint on on, on the on his chest and on his neck maybe just uh you know not so much paint on the shoulders and on the on the legs and all that i think that would uh that would make the figure pop a little more if we can see those translucent parts uh, a little bit more and allowing the light to pass through the figure and things i think that would uh that would be a lot more pleasing in my opinion but who knows i mean i'm just giving my opinions and my thoughts and, and, and things here as a, as a toy photographer, of course. For my final thoughts, I mean, if you're a completionist like myself, of course, I mean, I don't need to explain anything. You guys will get this figure. 
But for those of you sitting on the fence and you guys are trying to decide which figure is best for you, if you're just a straight collector, you have these figures for, uh, you know, collection purposes, they just sit on yourself and you want a, a, a good looking figure on your shelf. Uh, and you care about paint applications and all that, then maybe the original one would be would be a little bit more suitable for you. But if you are a toy photographer and you guys, uh, you know, like doing stuff with uh, with lighting and stuff like that, then this figure right here is is a treat. I mean, I I like this figure a lot more than uh, what I thought I was going to because I have seen uh, promo images and they weren't too pleasing, but. Having spent time with this figure and doing toy photography, no, I like this figure very much and I think I will be using this figure uh, when uh, when I want a, a an atomic blue version in my photos, I think I will be using this figure moving forward. And uh, certain times I will use this figure. All right, guys, that's it for now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Guys, please stay tuned to the end for my photo gallery and behind the scenes of my toy photography. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much and take care.